Hey babes, what's up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. How different is it? I'm getting poured on right now. The doom and gloom will not reflect today's video. We are going to be having an amazing thrift trip. I can feel it. You guys know that I'm actually currently doing a living room makeover and I'm looking for those beautiful finishing touches that I can hopefully find at the thrift store that will help me add character and coziness and warmth to the space. The one thing I want you all to keep in mind, you gotta keep an open mind. At the thrift store, you're going to find a lot of stuff that people would consider junk. But the one thing that will turn someone's junk into someone else's treasure is creativity. Whether you want to leave something as is and just clean it up or you want to buff it out, spray paint it, sand it down, there's so many things that you can do in order to make something match your personal aesthetic. All you really need sometimes is inspiration and ideas. And I have an entire Pinterest board of everything that I can possibly find at the thrift store. You guys have been requesting this so much in my last video. So with all that, you guys come thrift with me for some beautiful one-of-a-kind home decor and furniture too. Let's go! All right, you guys, it may get really loud at points. If it does, I will be doing a voiceover. But what I absolutely love about this thrift store specifically is that they just have so much gorgeous furniture. There's a couple things that I'm on an eye out for, possibly a coffee table and definitely like a little desk because I want to go ahead and create myself a little office space in my living room. But let me show you what I'm finding. Okay, so you guys see this table over here. I am absolutely obsessed with the circle swirls on it. I feel like if I had a bigger living room and I wanted a really huge coffee table, this is something that would add a ton of character. Very coastal vibes too. Everything in the store 25% off. We'd love to see it. All right, seeing a ton of cool lamps over here. A really, really good hack if you like the lamp base. Shades come off so easily. You could find any kind of shade you want on Amazon at whatever shape, whatever size, whatever texture, because the base of the lamp is really the expensive part. The shade you can swap out to whichever you want. Oh my God, you see this? I so badly wish that I had a home big enough to fit a huge hutch like this because I would transform this down to its original wood. I would just sand all of this down maybe even like replace the knobs people get scared whenever they see a lot of damage to the wood but really the sanding machine takes all of that off i mean that is beautiful for 12.99 look at this gorgeous oriental style mirror these are sold for so freaking expensive i feel like in an entryway this could be so pretty i mean i just have way too many mirrors in the house so i don't know if i can take another one but i love the finish it's gorgeous i love coming to the area where they have a bunch of wood and boxes they have a really nice jewelry box over here obviously these things need a good clean but but something else I actually remember seeing on TikTok was finding these. These are cigar boxes. And I've been seeing a lot of people kind of leaving them as is and using this as a place to like store your remotes and then you can kind of keep it on your coffee table and it looks so nice. There's a ton here and they're just $1.99. Okay, new mamas, expecting mamas, Moses baskets. These are genuinely so expensive when you buy them in store. I personally wouldn't be using a pad for my baby from the thrift store. I would probably buy a new pad, but the basket itself, clean it, disinfect it, and then keeping it on your nursery table as a changing table. Here's some inspo pictures. It looks amazing to do that. There is literally humidity on my lens. But man, oh man, you guys, that store was so overwhelming. It was just so busy with people. I think because it was raining, everyone was kind of like trapped in and they had nowhere to go. And my biggest pet peeve is thrifting without a cart. I had no carts available, so my hands were full with my camera, my bag, my umbrella. Took a quick little look. They didn't have any of the furniture I wanted, but that's okay. We got a couple Goodwills here in the area, so that's where we're off to next. Ladies and gents, we have secured a card. So here's a couple of the things you guys can take note of when it comes to the glassware section. Kind of like you said before, the vases, oh my gosh, I know that some of these may seem overwhelming, but really just pay attention to the shape and the texture. You see all of these ribbed vases? I mean, they are super popular right now, but clearly in more neutral tones. With something like this, I would just go ahead and spray with a nice neutral base. And then there's this texture spray paint that you can put on and kind of makes it look like sand. And I mean, just $3 too. And then another really good vase option, surprisingly, is hitchers. I've been seeing a lot of people put dainty flowers and stuff in pictures like this whether it's painted or not you can definitely spray paint this as well but it gives it a very cottage core kind of vibe i honestly just think this would look so nice with some little dainty flowers so i think i'm gonna do a spray paint job on this as well just because the colors don't really suit my aesthetic so much and then down here this can honestly be really beautiful as home decor like to put this on the wall next to some artwork to contribute to a gallery wall for only three dollars too i love that okay still here in the glassware section and these 
these like little ashtrays or containers with the lids if you properly wash them desanitize them they make amazing jewelry holders you could put your rings in here or even these little ashtrays so cute and dainty to put your earrings this one can be really nice for watches and if you are a plant lover instead of going to the dollar store and like buying plastic plates just get glass ones from the thrift they're honestly even cheaper the crystal on these are just so gorgeous and they make really good little plant saucers if you were gonna do like a retro beachy home decor that would be so freaking cute i love this old school style poster a lot of the frames in here in general are honestly gorgeous i'm looking for frames or artwork together separate I just don't know if i can make use of ones that are this big so much pretty artwork i really like this print actually that print is nice too a couple things i'm finding here if there was a smaller version of this i definitely would have picked it up for the entryway you know to keep our keys hats little jackets anything like that i did though find this wood cutting board for $3.99 here is a picture of like how i would style something like this at home goods and stuff these are always over 20 bucks and at the thrift store i always find a ton guys there's actually so many different cutting boards here but i really love these this is so fun to just like look and discover little trinket box you guys i have to show you this mirror it is the coolest thing ever Hold on. Look at how freaking sick this is. You guys, the color is stunning. I've never seen anything like it. There's a part of me that feels like I have to take it. It doesn't match my living room at all, but maybe, maybe I can put it in my bedroom. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's $69. It's a little bit pricier, but it is a brand new with tags also. But it is the heaviest mirror I've picked up in my life, and I'm not even exaggerating. I literally can't even pick it up, which just means that I probably would have such a hard time mounting it to the wall because of the fact that we're renting i want to risk damaging it maybe it's just a sign that it's not meant to be like i said i have to be intentional with my buying but then this one guys it's a very different style i think for the living room it can definitely work i can actually pick it up and it's just such a gorgeous shape this one i'm taking and now you guys we're finally off to my favorite red white and blue thrift store it feels so good to be back at this one honestly you guys really often ask me in all of like my clothing thrifting videos why i always come to this one i'll tell you what number one it's clean number two it's bright there's a light here and number three even though there's music i'm usually jamming it's not super loud they just have a really good selection of stuff so if this is where i have the best experience thrifting this is the place that i'm going to come to thrift the most but this will definitely feel a little bit different because for the first time we are actually going to be putting an emphasis on the home decor section rather than the clothes so let's dive in start off with the furniture and then work our way to everything else <sighs> okay you guys hear me out this is the issue i'm finding so much stuff that i'm like if only i had space for this but i found these two counter stools right here this would be perfect on our kitchen island the only thing is egan said i don't want any chairs on the kitchen island because our kitchen already feels too cluttered with the wood on these i actually like that it's kind of worn out but i would definitely send them down maybe give them a new reshine and then the cushions i would reupholster to probably like a nice beige imagine these chairs with beige cushions how stunning just 9.99 for each i can't believe i'm saying this but i think i'm gonna do it I think that when we're done with these chairs, they are gonna look so good for the space. But first things first, we gotta find the fabric. Just look at how many fabric options we have here, you guys. Tablecloths, curtains. There's so many textiles at the thrift store that you could take advantage of. Even like really pretty curtains. These are so cute. Irrelevant, but I kind of want to get these for Aaliyah's room. How adorable. But obviously when looking for fabrics, you are gonna want to steer clear of anything that might be see-through. I'm looking for something that one layer would be thick enough to reupholster these and cover it. And I am gonna stick to kind of more like a new neutrally beige because that's going to be what actually matches our dining chairs the best all right in the pillow section here is an option that i found and i actually really love number one the thickness of this and then it has the neutral stripes going around i think with the wood oh yeah guys that is that's gonna look stunning i just hope it's enough fabric but the best part it's a set of two priced at just 3.99 so cheap oh and in case i didn't say it and you guys are nervous you need to have zero sewing skills for this diy i'm not going to be using a sewing machine or anything to reupholster these cushions it's literally gonna be so easy because me yeah as much as i kind of know how to sew i don't really have patience for it all right so i got my two fabrics the one with the stripes and then literally the same color just in a plain and there's a ton of this in case we don't have enough of this one this circle mirror right here is so stunning too you guys if only I had a place to put all these gorgeous mirrors for any of my friends fans right away i thought it's an apothecary table my apothecary table isn't it cool it's an apothecary table <gasps> 
dishes and plate sets too of course there is no question you could find really simple ones or super charming so good if you have a little cottage core aesthetic in your home okay you guys i made it to the book section and i have another decor tip here's how you could use books in different ways to accentuate your decor whether you're looking for a coffee table book or you want something to just add elevation to different aspects of your shelving books are a really great way to do it but sometimes the aesthetic ones can get super expensive so something that you could take advantage of are hardcover books specifically ones that have this paper that you can get rid of this is actually a collection of stories which is really cute and if you guys actually pull away at the cover you can actually see how beautiful the rind of the book actually is this is such a great way to add color into your home if you find specific books with edging and the colors that you want you could stack a few on top of each other a ton of books here also have basic white binding as well with like gold writing i mean just look at how beautiful that looks together listen you can really hunt at the thrift store and find books that you genuinely want to read but the sad truth is is that a lot of these are probably going to end up in dumpsters because unfortunately people just don't buy hardcover books as much these days so you might as well reuse them in your home as a beautiful decor piece also and i know i mentioned frames but also don't miss the little ones because they're super super cheap whether you want to put a family photo or something i've actually done in the past to frames very similar like this is i actually went ahead and put some dried flowers pressed in this for naomi's nursery and i loved how it turned out so that's for sure something i can do here also as long as i find a color and shape of a frame that i like okay we are now up to cups and mugs and glassware and last time i was here you guys saw that i found a couple of mugs kind of regret not hooking those up because they were so cute but i just found the cutest martini glasses if you want to have like a ladies night at your house these right here are so freaking thrifty and fun frosted twisted glasses in all of these gorgeous colors it's 20 dollars for the set of five listen y'all i'm not much of a drinker i don't even know how to make them but still so cute i had to show you again if you guys realize i'm actually not picking up a lot of the stuff that i'm telling you about because again being very intentional with my shopping the whole point is i'm trying to give you inspiration for what things can be all right we are loaded in the car and let's do this guys made it back home and not gonna lie i'm a little bit nervous to see Aaron's reaction to these chairs because like i said he did not want counter stools but i'm gonna make him believe in the potential of these come see the chairs i got don't be upset listen 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 okay hear me out i'm gonna reupholster them i'm gonna put them in the kitchen island if it works out we're gonna keep them if it doesn't then i'll sell them okay i can't already see it <laughs> babe, babe, babe 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 okay like motel chairs. i know the, the way that they look now obviously they don't look good but like okay first of all they were 9.99 each and they were 25 percent off and I'm gonna change the cushion. I'm gonna change the cushion. Hey, we have too many chairs in this house. Too many mirrors in this house. What's the next step? But do you more see, tables, more, honestly, more couches. I don't know what. Do you see the potential? Honestly, no. Do you see the potential? If I change it to like a nice beigey fabric? I guess, but where are we gonna put it? Right here. No, me. But do you believe in me? Yes, yeah, she believes in me. You see? It's, it's gonna be good. Yay! See, mommy, you're gonna make the chairs nice. <laughs> All right, you guys, so first things first, because we are going to be reupholstering the chairs, I wanna go ahead and throw all the fabrics that I got into the washing machine, just so that when we put them on the chairs, they're gonna be like nicely fresh and clean. No matter which one we choose, I'm gonna wash them both. Because honestly, even if I don't end up using these, I may just keep them as pillowcases because they are huge and really nice too. All right, y'all, Miss Fixit is back. While the fabric is washing off, I'm gonna go ahead now and disassemble, disassemble the chairs. All right, well, to take it apart, it looks like it's a little hex, so this calls for an allen key and i have a couple over here and it's gonna be super simple i'm obviously just gonna be taking it apart specifically where the cushion is attached <laughs> Okay, so this next step is obviously optional. I'm actually going to be sanding the wood down a little bit because there are some imperfections. And on top of that, I do feel like it has a bit of that orangey wood and I prefer more of that natural wood look. This sand machine, I think it was like $35 from Home Depot. It is the best thing ever and it will save your hands from having to do things on your own. And I'm gonna be using some 80 grit sandpaper that just sticks on and it's so easy to do. Ignore my fallen palm tree branch in the background. But just to help even out this wood a little bit, even though I kind of do like the rustic look, sanding it will give it more more of a uniform look. All right, I went ahead and did a very, very, very rough sanding. I did not want to wear down the wood too much because I do still like a little bit of that warmth in it, but there were some places that were like kind of badly scratched and damaged. So I just wanted to even that out a little bit. In terms of sanding, I think that's it. I'm just gonna wipe off all the dust and really disinfect it. You really wanna make sure that you clean your furniture well, especially if it's from the thrift store. So I'm gonna sanitize the entire thing and then we'll get to working on the cushions. All right, 
well my hair is a mess but the chairs are all clean and disinfected and i have to say now that i roughed it up a little bit it looks so much like our dining room table it literally matches perfectly but onto the cushions so like i said on to the cushions i can obviously reupholster on top of this and you wouldn't see it but just because i feel like these have just gathered so much dirt and dust over time i want to go ahead and take off that initial layer as you guys can see the way that it is added onto the cushion is through a stapler so while this next part may be a little bit time consuming one by one i'm just gonna lift out all the staples so we can remove that fabric so the easiest way i found to do this is to just use the flathead screwdriver to lift up the staples and then i'm gonna use some pliers to actually pull them all out at once Okay, you guys, so now that we have the cushions, I sprayed a disinfectant spray. You can do a deep clean of this if you want, but the fabric is thick enough that I think we're fine. I'm actually really disappointed because now that I'm holding this up, because of the fact that the cushion kind of splits in the back, it doesn't let me do a full wrap around for each chair. So I'm probably gonna keep these and maybe use them as pillow covers for the living room. Kind of bummed though, because this would have looked so nice on the chairs. But you guys saw that we did get like another beige fabric and I think this one would look really nice also. And we have a lot of this material, so we don't have to worry so to reupholster the bottom cushion you're going to make sure to cut a fabric big enough for that bottom piece and like i said we're not sewing here we're going to be using a spray adhesive specifically this gorilla spray i'm going to spray out all the edges the front as well obviously avoiding those little drill holes and then you're going to just wrap it up like a little present make sure to pull tight and remove any of the excess fabric especially in the corners just so that it won't get too bulky around that area once you spray those down and you fold it down your corners properly let it dry a little bit before going ahead and taking a furniture stapler these are also super cheap maybe $20 and I'm just gonna do a couple staples in all the corners to keep it secure for the top part it's a little more complicated we have to do a full wraparound for this so you're literally gonna be gluing down each side of the cushion removing that excess fabric so that the seams on the edge of the cushion can line up perfectly after stapling the sides you're not gonna see them anyway that's literally it let it dry and your cushions are ready Next morning, you guys. Oh my gosh. I finished the whole project yesterday. It took me, I want to say maybe two hours, but oh, it is so worth it. An island as big as this definitely needs four chairs, but this is what they look like right now and they look incredible. So as you guys can see with our setup, we actually always have Aaliyah's little learning tower over here. Whenever I'm cooking or something, she likes to assist me. So either way, we have to keep that there. But having the option to now have two chairs over here is actually so perfect and they look beautiful. I love that the wood has these like rustic imperfections on it but the cushions definitely elevate them and make them look so much better you can also see that these chairs match perfectly with like our little dining room table and the best part is that now it actually gives me another little place to sit and film for you guys too even if i want to go ahead and do like some cooking videos i can sit now and actually show you things that i'm doing while i'm sitting i mean listen i can truly say this has been possibly the best most practical thing we could have done and let's quickly break down the cost of these chairs each chair was nine $9.99, so $10. They were also 25% off because they were white tags. So in total, I bought them for 15 bucks. The fabric was just $7. And in terms of our tools, all we used was spray adhesive and a heavy duty stapler. That's basically it. So now you'll be the ones to tell me for just $25, was this a project worth doing? Because I definitely think so. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you guys keeping an open mind when you're going to a thrift store, let your creativity flow in terms of what you could possibly do with something. Because the way that these chairs used to look definitely wouldn't have made anybody pick them up. So with all that, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and that I gave you some inspiration in any ways. I wanted to do a lot in this video. I also wanted to show you the spray paint projects and everything, but literally I'm just limited on time. So stay tuned for the next vlog. In the next vlog, I'm actually going to be showing you the spray paint DIYs that I'm going to be doing for all the vases I got and also hauling everything else I picked up today too. Subscribe down below if you haven't already joined the amazing Hay family. And if you are watching up to this point, comment down below thrifty treasures. We found so many incredible things on today's trip. Let me know down below which of these was your favorite. Was there anything that you really hope I picked up and show you in the next video and if there's anything else home related that you guys love to thrift that i haven't shown today comment it down below so i can keep an eye out for it for the next video be sure to follow me on instagram if you haven't already to see a lot of these diys behind the scenes and with all that love you guys forever and always thank you for coming to thrift with me and i really hope that you enjoyed this home decor edition video love you all and can't wait to see you in my next one